Hello, test, fucking test one, two. What's up, sexy? Oh, welcome back. For those of you who don't know me, I am your family doctor. Your father's been brought into the emergency room. He's pregnant. It's yours. Um, I'll keep this very brief. Um, this is part two of becoming an alpha. Um, so we looked at the video last week. I don't remember what it was about, but this one, I'll explain it. So why don't we have a look at another video of his. This one's called How to Flirt via Text Message, which is probably very valuable right now that we're all stuck in our houses. So uh, let's have a look at that. Gentlemen, we're going to start this video off with a little love history lesson. God, I feel so underdressed for this. <laughs> God, this is uncomfortable. It is too hot for this show. <laughs> gonna do the rest of this video looking like the dude from Little Mermaid. In the old days, like six or seven years ago, finding love was simple. Boy sees girl. He makes eye contact. They flirt. He approaches. They chat, get wasted, and get freaky. Um, I don't think that's how it always goes. So should we sex now? Or you meet a girl, get her number, give her a call, flirt. Have a little banter. Then you meet, get wasted, get freaky. Nope, we're just getting wasted with her again. This is what this guy does every time he takes out a girl. Just get wasted and get freaky. Hey, thanks so much for bringing me to your nephew's christening. This church is beautiful. I know, it's pretty great. <laughs> Alright, so are we doing this or what? My parents got me this. Breeding an alcoholic. Typical of my dad. Please still come home. Gentlemen, the game has changed. No longer do we need to waste time talking, getting to know- Ah, uh -uh, Jack! Our thumbs can do the flirting for us. Yeah. Fuck talking. Who wants to do that? Who wants to find out about a girl's hopes and dreams and aspirations and find out what makes them tick and what makes them them and their personality? Who gives a shit? Just get drunk and fuck me already. Uh, I actually saw this video a little while ago, I must confess, and I decided that I would stop verbally communicating with women, and instead now I only communicate in braille. Hey, so I was thinking... Shh. Oh, okay. Does this just say nudes question mark? I SAID NO TALKING! That skit was stupid. Also, the whole getting to know each other thing, it might as well be a Wednesday night, because throw Ow! that idea out with the garbage. Yes, my family actually, um... We emigrated from a really war-torn country. We had to come here by boat. It took uh, six months. We pretty much built our lives from the ground Shut up. Shut up. Less talking, more thumbs. And so today, gentlemen, in an attempt to evolve with- To do what? To evolve. Evolve? Is he saying evolve or involve or evil? This isn't even a joke. I just genuinely don't know. Slurt text tip number one. Always remind the person who you are on your first engagement. Ah, so like introduce myself Game of Thrones star. Hello. You were getting a text from Lachlan Tiger McIntyre, third of my name. Father to a slain son, son to a slain father. House of Targaryen. You up? Send them something, I don't know, something exciting. Something not like dirty exciting, like dick pic. Oh, to the dick pic. If us straight white males can't send dick pics, what do we have left? Everything? Virtually everything? Okay. I, I like the way he said it. Dick pic. Like it would somehow be cute to receive it from him. Flirt text tip number three. Compliment early, but nothing physical. Your boobs are amazing. Send. <laughs> yes. Oh. Okay, I was about to pull him up on that, but I'm glad he doesn't actually endorse saying that to a woman. You'll get to that. And I was wrong. Just later. Flirt text tip number four is be playful. You may be the most boring dude in the world, but over text, you can be Mr. Excitement. That's me, the most boring guy in the world. In reality, I have the personality of a wet cardboard box, but online, I'm James Bond. He said something playful. Okay, something playful. I just got a 1,000 piece Lego Death Star set if you want to come over. Alert text tip number six, don't ask multiple questions in a single text. <laughs> How you doing? What are you wearing? <laughs> Do you like Chinese? Do I like Chinese? Like the people? Think of text flirting like boxing, right? Little dancing, little jab here and there. Not like get them into the corner and just work them into a... Stay back! Relax! Pull back a little bit! Bringing us to tip number nine, which is plan a date sooner rather than later. It can totally be a letdown when you meet them and then you're like, yo, I just wasted 16 weeks texting your ass. 16 weeks texting your ass. That's like... 
three years. You won't be LOLing if the person you saw and got their number is actually a wildebeest in person, but it was too dark and you were too drunk to realize Don't it. Don't you hate it when you're talking to a girl for a long time and you're going back and forth sharing your interests and you've got a really great deep connection and then she turns out to be a wildebeest? An actual ah. wildebeest. Like the hooves and everything. Text tip number 10 last, but definitely not least. Don't send the, did you get my text, text message. They got it. They ignored you. If she or he, whatever you're into, keeps ignoring you, gentlemen, let them go. Free as a bird. Yeah, but what he's forgetting is if you've spent a lot of time building the cage and getting all those keys cut, okay, he meant metaphorically, never mind. And when all else fails, gentlemen, you could try it the old-fashioned way. Ah, yes, the old-fashioned way. Mail order brides. Still haven't got my refund. But don't worry! Either way you go, technology, in person, a combination of both, you are a super sexy ninja! Yes. Yes I am, I am a super sexy ninja. Super sexy ninja. It's just a ninja suit with a crotch cut out, and yes, I'm wearing West Tiger shorts because it's business up top and party down below. And by party, I mean I've been wearing this for six days straight. Alright, I can't stand this guy anymore. Uh, because he's so enlightening and so alpha and his alpha energy is just overwhelming and I think that's the case for all of us. I think it's hard to say that we haven't learned anything. So first of all, make sure you introduce yourself in full Game of Thrones style. Don't actually talk to a girl or show any interest, just speak in braille or morse code or some shit like that. Don't send dick pics, that's, uh, that's not nice. Unless it's cute, ask her questions, get her thoughts on the Chinese. And last of all, if that doesn't work, uh, according to this guy, get her drunk and get freaky. Um, I think I would give my last piece of advice uh, for you guys. Fellas. I'm talking to my fellas. I'm talking to my fellas. <laughs> if you're texting a, a senorita and she turns out to be an absolute wildebeest, and we've all been there, here's what you do. You build a paddock about four hectares is a good size for them. It says here that they're grazing herbivores that feed on grass and succulent plants. That's succulent plants. And take care of your wildebeest, because if you take care of your wildebeest, your wildebeest will take care of you. Okay, bye. <laughs>